Hey folks, Wally DM here, and today we're going to take a look at a puzzle where the adventurers simply need to pay one gold piece for a key to get through the door. But the delivery system, or obtaining the key, is going to be a little bit unconventional. Now today's puzzle idea was submitted by Lex from the Wally DM Discord. If you're familiar with the shadowy pillar puzzle that is on this channel, he was also the creator of that. And he has his own Patreon with puzzle ideas on it, and I will put a link in the description below. And of course, if you're enjoying the content on this channel, please be sure to hit that subscribe button, join us over on the Discord for more puzzle and D&D discussions, and be sure to pick up a copy of my book, Wally DM's Journal of Puzzle Encounters, available now on DriveThruRPG. Now let's get started with this puzzle. It's called 1GP for a Key. So in this puzzle, our adventuring party is going to enter from this door from the west, and they're going to come across a bridge that's going over a shallow stream of water. Now, as they come into this room, they're going to be able to see that this water is encompassing the room on the east, south, and west, and then there is a solid wall along the north wall. Now, if they watch the water for just a little bit, they're going to see that it's flowing in the southern direction, and then it goes to the east, and then it flows up to the north and underneath of this wall there is a shallow space where it goes under the wall and continues this way. And of course it does seem that the water is coming from the other side of the wall as the water on the far west seems to be flowing in this manner. Now the area that our adventurers need to go to is across this other bridge and we have a door on the east. Now this door unfortunately is going to be magically locked and sealed by a 172nd level wizard and there's no way they're going to be able to open it without a proper key. Now to look around the rest of the room, this entire room is going to be scattered with different types of parchment and paper. If they're to look over to the north, they're actually going to see a signpost along the north wall that is going to say 1GP for key. So with everything that's been presented, what would you do to solve the puzzle? I'll give you a second if you'd like to figure it out. Did you get it? Great! Let's go over the answer. So we need to take our surroundings into account. We've got one GP for key, and we've got this water that seems to be going in a counterclockwise direction, going underneath this wall to the north on this side, and coming back through on the other side. We can only insinuate that the water is continuing in a loop. Now, of course, the adventurers probably have all type of adventuring gear, and if not, there's all these different types of paper and things of that nature, and it seems like if they were to give one GP or one gold piece, that they might be able to receive a key. Now, if they wanted to experiment with the water and they want to take one of these little pieces of parchment, maybe make an origami boat with a performance check or a sleight of hand, they should be able to do so. And this little piece of paper is going to flow through and across and underneath the wall to the north. If they marked it correctly, eventually they're going to be able to see it come back out the other side and continue around in a circle. This should confirm that the water is going in a loop. Now we don't want to take an incredible amount of time with this puzzle, this should be fairly easy and just provide an entertaining moment within the adventure. So after a little bit of time has elapsed, then perhaps a piece of parchment or a paper that the adventurers did not send through comes through over this way, and if the adventurers were to take it out and they're to look at it, they would see that it's an angry note. In fact, it's some type of an angry letter telling them to hurry up. Or if whatever is on the other side is feeling generous, then perhaps they send this floating bottle and the messages in the bottle. So our adventurers are able to fish this out. There's a rolled message inside of it. They open it up and they see one GP for key. And underneath that, hurry up, I don't have all day. So the solution to the puzzle is quite easy. They can craft an origami boat, they can take something like this vial or what have you, and they need to put one gold piece in it. If they send a gold piece through in this bottle, or perhaps in an origami boat, or even a way that's creative, I really like that this puzzle allows for the characters to be creative. How are they going to send a gold piece through this stream and underneath this wall? But regardless, if they do see that one gold piece under there, then the vial will come back through and they'll be able to pick this up out of the water and inside of the vial is a key. They'll be able to take this key, unlock this door, and they're going to be able to continue on in the path or the direction they were traveling. But with that being said, what is on the other side of this wall? 
And on the other side of this wall is a gargoyle, and this is his personal business. He has a bunch of different vials over here that he can send through the channel in order to deliver keys. He has a stack of gold pieces, and of course a stack of gold keys that can be used to open the door. He charges this a lot, he's making good money, and again, if the characters dawdle around too long, he's going to start sending them angry letters, telling them to hurry up, and he's going to become impatient. He'll also be a little bit perturbed if the characters send him some type of vessel that he's not able to send a key back into. Now of course there is one more thing to contemplate if you're going to run this puzzle. What would you do as a dungeon master or a game master if the characters find their way across or underneath this wall and pop up on the other side? What would be the gargoyle's reaction? Be sure to leave a comment below and let me know what you're thinking. So that's all I have for you today. What did you think of the puzzle? Is this something that you could use in your game? And if so, what would you do differently? Be sure to leave a comment below and let's get a discussion going. Thank you very much for watching and on to the next.